All right, after about a half hour of digging, we have the beginning of the trench made. This is going to be the steps going down, and it's going to go into the trench. So when I'm standing in this hole, the wall is good eight or nine, uh, seven and a half to eight feet high. So the roof line will be totally above me. I'll be able to walk inside the wall and peony. This is going to be about 12 feet long. Currently it's about one, two, three, four. So it's going to continue to 12 feet. And the outer structure is going to be built around it. It's going to be filled in as much as we can. This is good because my ground is mostly shale. Look at these big huge pieces of shale in here it's all bone so it's not going to crumble in and also there's not much to crumble in against the wall there and right hand side I don't even think I'm going to need any reinforcement on a wall but you know after it's built I could always work on a wall if it needs reinforcement but it's no problem but the main retaining wall is already done so we're going to finish up this trench, finish bringing this back, and we're going to clean it up and see how we're going to design the steps going in, and we're going to start to build. All right, so the pit house is going to be 12 by 6, we get 72 square feet, and pretty high count the pit. Well, the pit is at least three or four foot deep. This is a 12 foot side wall. 12 foot comes to the edge of here where I'm going to dig in my steps. I'm planning on using tires, filling them and making them stagger down like steps, but we'll see how it goes. So this will all be cleaned out nice later. Just getting everything in place, getting my structure together. Made the 12 foot section. The reason I'm going 12 is because you could get a 12 foot corrugated clear plastic roof to go on it. So I don't have to cut it down too much. I might have to rip it long ways, one piece at the end, but we'll see. Next I'm going to build the back side going into the wall. I'm going to use uh, anchors and anchor it into the wall. And then afterwards I'll build the front entrance with the door and the wall over here. And after we got the base in place, we will start to frame out the top. So I'll be updating as I go. Here's my lumber station and we're out. All right, the day's closing in, maybe a little more. We are framing. The front, 18 plus 3, 21 inches to the bottom beam, which will be filled in. And it goes up for the pitch. The pitch looks something like that. So... Steps will go in, and I can walk straight through. This will be metal down here, and all this up here will be clear roofing panels. So the hole got a little dirty. I'm jumping over it, working in it. I'll have to clean it out later. But from the hole, it's about four feet plus 18, about five foot five up to the edge of the metal. And then behind me, of course, the nether 
all soil behind there, which is gonna hold heat. I'm gonna paint this wall black so the sun heats up the wall for some radiant energy. Have this all closed off and watertight. Ah, we're looking good. All right, a week went by. I didn't get to work on the greenhouse because of work. But here we are back on the weekend going about it again. As you see, it's raining bright sun. Looks nice. So we're doing the side wall where the door is. This does not have to have see-through glass because the sun's never gonna hit this side. But the front, the sun does hit. That's the doorway. There's gonna be steps going in as we said. We're gonna figure out how to uh, seal up that hole that goes down there around that door frame. But we'll figure that out when we put the steps in. We have um, 24 gauge, the thicker sheet metal corrugated roofing on it which I had already so that was not an expense we'll pressure wash it when we're done uh, I'm waiting for my ram set to come in so I could secure everything against the foundation wall real tight but it's looking pretty good we're gonna have to figure out some kind of corner angles to finish this up but again, we're going to be doing that later. Now, I put the large ridge up on the top. So when the roof comes, it could overlap it. So the water flow right down and not into the frame. So let's take a walk inside. I'm going to pour some concrete later around this bottom step where the door is going to close. Plan to make it open outward, but I'm not sure yet. Anyway, the door will come later. Now I'm fully standing up. As I go back, it's higher and higher. So I could fully stand up in here. I'm going to have pots all against this wall on shelves or rows. On the front there I'll have shelves in the front we'll have shelves we'll have some hanging baskets the whole back wall we could fill in down here we'll put insulation and plastic yeah looking pretty good all right the day is closing in we got the roof up it's going to be flashing on the top against the retaining wall to keep the water out of the lip Around. Here's a piece of plexiglass which is going to be cut and framed for an automatic vent window on this side. It's going to be framed and it's going to have an automated arm that opens the vent with the temperature to keep it ventilated. With the plastic ribbing, I decided to come up and over the lip a little bit so the water flush right off. I didn't have proper corner molding and it's difficult with these inch and a half ribs. But I made do with what I have got the corners tucked in underneath the plastic it'll be insulated or spray foam on the inside to seal it up and I'll get some kind of better rubber or foam inserts to go in there to keep the cool weather out and the insects but not a big deal I got the door side framed up. I got the metal on this side. This is going to be the entrance and the steps as we already went over. So, 
It's coming along. If I get some time tomorrow, plan to finish up the side and the window and the top flashing. At that point, all there's really left to do is construct a door, wait for the armature to come in to open up that vent window, mount that later. I also ordered a pool solar cover, which I'm contemplating if I should put it on the outside or on the inside. I'm considering putting it over the outside to seal everything up, make it 100% waterproof for the winter. But the downfall is in the summer, I mean the downfall is it's going to look kind of weird with a big tarp over it. But it's not for looks, it's for vegetation. The other alternative is to put the bubble wrap or the pool filter on the inside but you probably won't get as good of a seal from the inside. So, and also it'll be harder to remove in the summer if I wanted to. So, see how that goes. But this is the wall and peony. You can see the five foot ladder. You can see where the ground level is on it close to four foot down the hole. In parts it is, it's more, in parts it's a little higher. Again, it's hard to dig exactly uh, level, it's all shale. But that's where we are.